everyone, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland, living in the Netherlands and welcome to this November Diaries video. A few weeks ago we moved out from our apartment in Leiden and now for the month of November we've been living in our temporary home which is at my boyfriend Rul's parents' house, located in North Brabant. The reason for us living in this temporary home and moving away from our apartment is because we're going soon on a big backpacking adventure to South America. To be exact, it's a bit more than two weeks before we go when I am filming this video. But by the time you see this video, we are just about to go or we might have already left. I recommend that you follow me on Instagram where you'll see more up-to-date updates <laughs> so we've been here now for about two weeks and i haven't honestly filmed much because mostly we've just been taking it easy but to summarize the past few weeks i've still been working quite a lot we've been enjoying some time to read and watch series We've gone on some nice walks out in the nature. We had a pancake night. We've been able to relax by the fireplace. We also visited Ikea, not to buy furniture, but just only for the sake of eating the food at Ikea and to visit the food shop where I was able to find some North European goodies to buy. And one night I also cooked everyone some Indian curry. So yeah, it's been very nice and relaxing. So today is a Saturday, I have a day off and I noticed that I have reached 3,000 subscribers, which is mind-blowing to me. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed. It means so much to me that you watch my videos and that some of you even decide to stick around. So thank you very, very much. And yeah, I want to celebrate this somehow. So we're gonna go to the nearby town called Gertrudenberg. I'm probably pronouncing it completely wrong. I'm gonna walk around a bit. I'll show you the little cute town that we are close by. And I was thinking it would be nice to go to some cafe and maybe have some celebratory cake or something. It's a nice and sunny day outside, so let's get going. cakes. I have a cheesecake with some kind of chocolate thing on top and Rul has a mascarpone cake with cherry. Cherry. Looks good. Let's try the cheesecake. So cheers for 3,000 subscribers. Mm. That's so good. Oh my god. That was a really really nice cheesecake and now because the weather is so nice, we're gonna walk around a bit and enjoy this beautiful Saturday. Good morning. Today is a special and weird day because today is my last day of work. Yeah, I've been working at my current company, I think for three years and four months, which is the longest I've ever worked at a company. So yeah, it feels weird that today I'm gonna be logging in and out for the last time. I have a bit of mixed feelings. It's a bit of a bittersweet feeling. I am embarking on my next life chapter and going traveling and also at the same time giving myself a chance to really pour my heart and soul into this YouTube channel instead. I thought it would be a fun idea for me to vlog today a bit, do a bit of my day, bring you guys along to my last day of work. And so began my last day at my current workplace.
The day flew by very fast with several meetings and there was also this virtual hangout organized as it was my last day and my colleagues had made me this mood board as a send-off gift which was very nice. I'm about to log off for the very last time. Feels surreal and weird. Let's pack away the computer because yeah, I work from home, so it needs to be sent back. The evening we went to my boyfriend's brother's and his fiance's house where we spent a really relaxing evening together. We played some games, enjoyed delicious wraps and had a bunch of different snacks. It was indeed a very lovely evening. It's the next day now today, so today is the first day when I don't need to work anymore. Today's plan is honestly nothing special, but I do have a few things that I want to do today. There's a food here in the Netherlands that's kind of gone viral. It's something called a krampus. It is a mix of a croissant and this baked good called a tompus, which is like a Dutch pink little cake. And they basically mixed the two. I've heard very mixed reviews a lot of people are saying it's awful so yeah i really want to try it out and we're gonna try and go to the albert hein that's close by and see if they would sell them we'll see fingers crossed it is raining though but oh well <laughs> Let's hope they do have the Krampus so we're not walking there in vain and let's hope that it's good and not awful as some people say it is. And so began the journey to find a Krampus. The weather was awful and it was raining literally sideways but luckily we eventually reached the Albert Hein. But to our surprise the Krampuses were all sold out. I was so disappointed. So we then went and checked out the bakery next to the grocery store. But it was sold out there too. We even checked another bakery, but they didn't sell them at all. So as our last resort, we walked over to another supermarket that was a bit further away. Fingers crossed that they have it here. And when we arrived, it seemed as if they were sold out here too. But just as we were about to give up on hope, <gasps> we were able to find some. I was so happy. <laughs> Well, after checking out at many different places, I was finally able to find the Krampus. Let's try. Look at it. Oh, yeah. I actually think it's pretty good. It's really, really sweet. Definitely need some water. I have a feeling if the French people would see this, they would have a heart attack seeing what the Dutch have done for the croissant, but... I like it. I must say this month of November here in the Netherlands has been raining non-stop. I think we've had like two, three days in the whole month when it hasn't rained. If you have the chance to try a Krampus, I recommend. It's quite fun. So another thing I really want to try today is this stroke waffle mask that I bought from Hema. And I already bought it a while ago, but I haven't used it. And I really want to use it before we go to South America. So. Today shall be the day when I finally try it. And it's supposed to be a self-heating face mask. I've never really done anything like this on my videos before. <laughs> so let me know what you think. Also in general, I feel like this video is a bit more low-key maybe, doing a bit more relaxed things like trying a crampoos and a face mask. Do you prefer me doing more really like special things like going to the alpaca farm or to the tulip fields? Or do you also like seeing me doing and trying a bit more like low-key things like a stroke waffle face mask? Let me know down in the comments. Yeah, I think we pull it out from here. Oh. It's stuck. <laughs> oh my god. So I 
guess we just put it all over my face and it's gonna start heating up 10-15 minutes and then remove mask using lukewarm water okay well, that sounds pretty straightforward it really does smell like shop waffles it smells really good it smells like so good that i kind of want to taste it <laughs> But I, I don't think it's edible. Ooh, I can feel it getting warm on my skin and like on my fingers as well. It feels like I'm applying food on my face because of the smell. And also because of the fact that it's like warm. Now I'm gonna set the timer. It does feel warm on my face, but I was kind of hoping it to feel like almost hot on my face. Like, like a slight burning sensation. But maybe that's just me. While I wait for the face mask, to, I don't know, dry, work, clean my face. I'm gonna run a bath. Well, the 12 minutes are up. It didn't really like dry on me, I feel like. Time to wash it off and then let's see if my skin feels more clean. The face mask is now gone and yeah it does feel quite clean and it did smell really really good so yeah it was a fun little rainy day treat as well but now I'm gonna jump in the bath which I'm not gonna film though because this is no OnlyFans. Today we are going to a city here in North Brabant to do some last minute shopping before our trip. The city has a very, very difficult name to pronounce, at least for me. It's Hochkem. Hochkem. That's where we're heading today. And it's a nice sunny day, which is a rarity now in November, so we better enjoy it. We have arrived in the city that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> But yeah, currently walking towards the center. had any lunch so we visited Hema to buy some socks and I saw they have the Hema cafe and I realized I've never actually eaten at the Hema cafe so I thought I'd try it out so I got some cola and the vegetarian I thought it said vegetarian sausage bread but rule is now saying something else than that but yeah <laughs> let's try it. cheers yeah it's more like fake meat or something inside not really a sausage tastes good now i've done one more of the very typically dutch things to do eat at the hema cafe <laughs> Let me give you guys a little haul of 
the super exciting things that I bought. <laughs> so what I bought is two packages of socks because I need some new fresh socks for our trip to South America. And then I also bought this rain cover that's for my smaller backpack because I realized I have a rain cover for my big backpack but not for my smaller backpack where I keep my laptop and cameras and stuff. So yeah, it's quite important that those stay dry. I bought some gel for if you get muscle ache and I also bought some lip balm with 50 plus SPF. Then I bought some deodorant. Then we bought some like wound spray and then we bought some toothpaste <laughs> and paracetamol so yeah so nothing very exciting but very useful things so today when i am filming this it is exactly one week until we leave for south america so that's very exciting i can't believe how fast november has gone it's been like like this like it's crazy but yeah the coming week i don't think we're gonna do anything special i'm gonna try and get some rest i have some videos i need to edit I have a book I want to finish. Because of that, I don't think I'm gonna film more for the November Diaries because I don't think we're gonna be doing anything super special, to be honest. And I also need some time to edit this video. This is the last video from the Netherlands that you will be seeing in a while. So the next videos are gonna be from South America. Well, actually, the next video is a packing video. It is filmed here in the Netherlands, but still it is about South America. Can't wait to bring you guys along on our journey backpacking and yeah it's, it's gonna be so much fun and exciting and i hope you guys are excited as well i hope you have enjoyed this november diaries video i know it was a bit more relaxed and low-key but nevertheless if you did remember to give this video a thumbs up and remember to also subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any future videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye